Yes, yeah, Sandra Liu, the San Bernardino County District Attorney tells us that that driver had at least one other prior DUI. Well, now the victim's family is now trying to cope with the loss, the devastating loss of 52-year-old Gary Bolt. We were just having a conversation kind of about how, you know, it was our anniversary, you know, about how blessed we were and how great our life was and how, you know, how much we loved each other and how, just how great things were finally. And then out of nowhere, it's like, like lightning struck our truck, just got hit and we were spinning and spinning and then flipping and flipping and life changed. Now, this is a picture of 52 year old Gary Bolt. His wife, Christine, tells me that they were on their way to Lake Tahoe for their anniversary. As I said, uh, she says that both of them were driving along the 15 in Fontana from Escondido when suddenly they were hit by that other vehicle. Now, it happened back on March 31st, just before 1 a.m. Authorities say that the other driver was also heading northbound but driving at least 100 miles an hour. That driver hitting the couple's SUV from behind, causing it to overturn into a nearby embankment. Now, Bolt died at the scene. Meantime, his wife Christine says that she was trapped upside down inside the vehicle before authorities could pull her to safety. The family has been going through a rough time after the loss of Gary, who they say adored his children and grandchildren. Now, the driver we confirmed to be Ryan Wick, also the co-founder of Wick's Brewing in Riverside, has been charged with murder, according to the San Bernardino County District Attorney. They say he was driving under the influence at the time of the incident. Now, the DA tells me that Wick had at least one prior DUI back in 2005. Meantime, the family, uh, the family of the victim says they are still just learning how to cope with all of this. I'm still processing things. Um, you know, I still do have sympathy. Um, you know, it, you know, the anger is still there, you know, because, you know, my, my, my dad's no longer here, but I, I do have sympathy because, you know, it, you know, sometimes it takes the absolute rock bottom for some people to really turn their lives around. And, um, you know, unfortunately, someone had to lose their life for, for a certain person to reach their rock bottom. Now, the DA tells me that Wick is out on bond right now. Coming up a little bit later on at 5, we will have that full story for you and more on what the family is telling us. For now, reporting live in Riverside, I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News.